I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 14th day of May. Active convection just north of Alabama. Will that uh, impact our state at all tonight? And what about the weekend? Many questions. Let's see if we can dig some answers up. Let's take a look at the uh, Skycam images. First off, Gulf Shores, the Hangout Music Festival this weekend. 50 to 100,000 people. That's a lot of people for Gulf Shores, you know it, but uh, that's a great shot of the uh, festivities there coming from the Phoenix All Suites uh, overlooking the hangout and the public beach. And uh, the weather down there is going to be fine. Uh, dry through tomorrow, just a few isolated showers on Sunday. Highs on the immediate coast in the upper 70s because of the sea breeze there. Up this way, there's the Gadsden Sky Cam, the sky mostly cloudy in Etowah County and up north in Decatur. Again, the sky mostly cloudy there, and just across the Tennessee state line north of there, got some fairly hefty storms. There's the deal. We've still got the ridge here, and that's keeping us dry for now. Thunderstorms developing on the flank of the ridge, the periphery, uh, Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky. Temperatures this afternoon as warm as 88 in Tuscaloosa and Montgomery, 85 in Birmingham, and we're talking mostly mid-80s over the weekend. And there's that convection north of the state. That's a, a severe thunderstorm watch until 7 o'clock central time tonight. Pretty good chunk of Tennessee and Kentucky. Uh, big storms along a southward drifting front. And some of those could creep over the state line, but uh, sure looks like the, the majority of the heavy-duty stuff will stay up in Tennessee. Uh, in terms of the severe weather possibilities for the rest of today and tonight, we've got a slight risk of severe weather from Little Rock to Nashville up to Atlantic City and Long Island, New York City. It does include uh, Philadelphia and also a slight risk over parts of West Texas and New Mexico. On uh, day two tomorrow, a slight risk on that stall front just north of us, the uh, Tennessee Valley of extreme North Alabama and much of Tennessee and also back in West Texas. And on day three, which is Sunday, uh, low end probabilities clipping the northwestern corner of the state with the better chance over Texas. And the rain for the next five days suggesting amounts of Two to four inches west of Alabama, and here the amounts vary from about three quarters to one and a half inches. Heavier totals up north, lighter totals down south. And this valid through Wednesday, and no doubt the most widespread rain more than likely will come on Monday of next week. We'll check the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at one o'clock tomorrow, and the ridge is breaking down to some degree. And uh, down below that, that surface boundary just kind of hangs around the Alabama-Tennessee border and will be in kind of a soupy air mass, and we'll mention a chance of scattered showers and storms. Uh, no all-day rain, no washout. Just keep in mind, it could rain at times. And really, Sunday, the weather should be pretty identical, the front going nowhere. Uh, we do have uh, energy coming in from the west, but the better support is west of the state on Sunday. And then Monday, that short wave impacts Alabama. And that should be the day with the best coverage of showers and storms with a, a surface boundary coming in and some upper support. So really each day through Monday, some chance of showers and storms. Monday should be the day with the most organized rain. Now, this run doesn't want to dry us out. The last four or five, it brought in a nice chunk of dry air on Tuesday. All of a sudden, this run wants to stall the front out. And understand this is late May. We can be a cold yard, or a cold, cold yard, a cold front graveyard where these things just stall out and die. In Wednesday, the front just sits around and dissipates. Now, we're still going to trend it dry on Tuesday and Wednesday and not mention any showers, but we'll just see if this trend keeps up in future runs. Uh, Thursday of next week looks dry and pleasant, and a week from today, uh, today this is Friday the uh, 21st, looks rather uneventful. And peek into the next day, this is Saturday the 22nd, in case you got something planned, and that looks uh, like flat ridge around here. Nothing exciting, no major issues. That might suggest a shower in spots, but certainly no big problem if that happens to work out. We'll check the end of the forecast. May 30th, almost out there at the end of the month, almost the beginning of meteorological summer. And a little trough forming over the east. Now, you know, this is pure speculation out here, but we have seen similar runs, and just maybe, just maybe, We'll catch us a bit of cooler continental air with that, but again, it's late May. It can happen, but certainly no guarantees this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video, my next video, by 7 o'clock Monday morning. Brian Peters will have the video updates tomorrow and Sunday. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. 
sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.